angry. I am angry. Oh, there's two of me now. Hello. <laughs> there. I love how everything with this stream is so scuffed. Oh. We've not even gotten to the scuffed part of the game yet. Ah! Oh well. Alright. It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Don't worry, Rain. That was the scariest laugh. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that, that's that's definitely true. Hand Monica by poem. But oh, oh, damn. Mmm, great job, Rain. I was going aha in my head while reading it. Mm-hmm. Uh how did you know that she was gonna say that? <laughs> I've, I've, I've seen, I've watched people play this game so much. Weirdo. It's really metaphorical. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. Uh, that's your line still. Oh, that's me, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's easy for me to keep everyone's expectations low. And I, like, it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Yes. Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Yes. Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. Now I can't tell how long I've been live for. An hour and 51 minutes. Great. And there's like three streams now of this on my channel. Hang on. The eight minute long one is just gonna stay on Twitch. I'm not, I'll publish the first in this one. Okay, does it? Okay. Um. It's very challenging to write like that effectively. Both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all of the nuances. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I've never really asked, though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near That's her level That's me, yet. bitch! <laughs> I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Oh yeah, that was you, sorry. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a whole while before I keep feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to be not very good. Well, because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. 
Whoa, hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know I wasn't home. Peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late, my retinas. Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. Just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Searching forever into everything. A hole of infinite chaos. I realize now... What is it wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever to everything. A whole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in, I was looking out. And he on the other side was looking in. Shit, man. That was deep. So, what do you think? <laughs> Sorry, freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, your kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. Well, is the inspiration behind this one? Uh... Well, I'm not sure if I know quite how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of epiphany recently. Hmm, you're sus. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? <laughs> yes, something like that. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to click that. Uh, I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone's better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper, and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. Hi Cerberus. Thanks for so popping in. just move in. your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening! Oh god. I'm gonna speed read this. I am tired of poems for a moment. <laughs> this is a good poem, Rain. Are you sure that this is your first time? Of course. It's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who'll be writing poems in his spare time? Eh, I guess you're right. But that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously, or that you would, wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that you just wrote one. It just reminds me of how... <sighs> <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> I'm tired already. Sorry, Sayori, you're boring as fuck! <laughs> yeah, she's such a basic character, I don't really have any interest in... Uh, it just reminds me, you really part of the club now, blah, 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 that's heading for you the club room. Er, well, of course, I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See, it's just like I said before, Rain, <laughs> deep down, you're not that selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people, that's something only good people do. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure Sayori's motive here. Again, I can't deny she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this beats her and all. Yeah, and I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay. Now you read my poem too. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine. All I see is I want breakfast at the bottom of that. <laughs> I want breakfast now. Um, Dear Sunshine. The way that you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you asking... Trusting me to wish a rainy day, away a rainy day. I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it weren't, wasn't for you, I'd tootsie forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> oh, it's a funny poem, but yeah. Teori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No, just, just a little bit. I can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least it makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean. I still try my best. Oh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It just came out nicer. How should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school. It's too bad. 
It's bad to skip breakfast. Me who skips breakfast on a daily basis. Mother, have you been clipping funny things? I think I, I've clipped two things that I thought were funny. Damn. Uh, but, uh, it's bad to skip breakfast. Me, I again, I skip breakfast on a daily basis. You cannot. Um, I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyways, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Oh, uh, yeah. Next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. <sighs> Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It says after everyone's judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I get ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes on Yuri and Natsuki. They enter the exchange pieces, sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's arrows furrows in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. He's just cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I, I just meant the language, I guess. I'm trying to say something nice. Blech. I mean, alright, I... If you have to try that hard, then... Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Ah. Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. This is why I don't play visual novels. I have no patience. Which people did, by the way. They already liked it. And Rain did, too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I'm coming across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. <laughs> and Rain liked my poem, too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Uh-oh. Oh? oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Oh, God. This is where the audio comes from? Yeah. <laughs> Clip that. Hang on, I just wanna... <laughs> I like bouncing to it, it's really entertaining. <laughs> That's not what I... Uh, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Rain appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. No, he didn't appreciate my advice more. Are you that full of yourself? <laughs> I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do over the cutesy. <laughs> Are they fighting over me? Yeah. <laughs> this has never happened to me before. Um. Oh. <laughs> Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew as fast as as soon as Rain started showing up. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> We're not- Fuck! Shut the fuck up. Holy shit, you have tiny chest, we get it. <laughs> um, not to be- that's a little- This is not to be wrong you! I like fighting, guys! Uh... Rain... She, she, she's trying to make me look bad. That's not true! She 
started it. If she can get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective. <laughs> Hi, Fleet. Um, you really haven't missed anything. Half the stream was me dying because my, my fucking OBS crashed. Um, so, yeah. Congrats, you made it. Um, speaking of... I will export the one hour segment. Womp womp. I'm sorry, I'm back. Hello. Welcome back. Then it shouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? Your mom. That's the reason. I don't know. The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Rain. Oh, wait. There's a reason we have so many deep expressions words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and the meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessary limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Rain? Oh, shit. Um. Well. Well? How did I get dragged to this in the first place? It's not like I know I think about writing. Well, if whoever gives it, they'll probably think more highly of me. LBCR! <laughs> Alright. If I was speedrunning this, it would be a different story. Or replaying this, but I'm gonna choose Yuri. Because I like Yuri and I fucking hate the rest of them. Natsu. I chose the wrong name. No, you chose the correct one. I did? You chose the correct one. Oh, yeah. You're right that I liked your poem. Poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't be picking a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened That's at all. That's not what happened at all! Oh, fuck. Sorry. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously! Mmm. I understand. Yuri. <laughs> You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simply or fine someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I see. I didn't notice that I... I'm sorry. Ooh. But Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this would have been ha wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? Oh, that's you. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did! It was her that... Natsuki, that's enough! You both said some things that you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should, too? Mm. Well, yeah, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped at this point being defiant because she can't handle the pressure. I ended up even feeling bad for her. Um. Sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sorry, she doesn't need to... You know what? I'm going to do that. It'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Without worry, Natsuki steps up her own poem to the desk and throws out. On her way out, she grabs up the poem with her hand, throws it in the trash. Oh, man. Natsuki. She really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in the adjacent chair. Uh, everything all right? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri. I love you. You're, you're literally... Yes. How could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handle it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, alright, I believe you. Thanks, Rain. You're too kind. I'm thankful to have you as part of this club now. It's nothing. One more thing. Um, I think that one thing that Natsuki said about, you know, I would never do anything so shameful. So, eh. What thing did Natsuki say? Uh, um, well, never mind that. I'm going to make some tea. Ah, good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Yeah. Sweet. Ugh. Mother! Okay, everyone! Ugh. 
I was just looking up how many days there are in Act 1. Just which is... There's, there's four days. Well, wait, one, two, three. Four. There's five days in Act 1. We're at the end of the second day. Okay. Okay, everyone. One second. Ah, uh, I can't wait to get to the good part. <laughs> get through hard. Okay. What do they smash or something? Don't spoil it. It's just about time for us to leave. Uh, before we continue, Mother, how long can you stay for? I can stay for as long as you want. I kind of want to finish. I how many acts are there? There's two acts. Act one is the first half. Act two is the second half. Mm, how long is... You said it's five uh, days. The rest of this act should take two and a half, three hours. If I don't read it fast. What if I speed read it? Yeah. Then speed read it should be two, two and a half. Jesus Christ, okay. Well, I want to finish Act 1 today, and then that'll be it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, unless it gets, like... Once we finish Act 1, you can decide if you want to keep playing the game tomorrow. Yeah, no, there's- it's not. No, I will not. I will play it tomorrow. Um... Probably. If I finish the game today, I'll be kind of surprised, but I have class tomorrow, so yeah. Um, yeah, anyways. Go ahead. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun! Oh, I say it was worth it. Hi, Hershey, thank you for the lurk. It was alright. Well, mostly. Oh, Hershey, congrats on level three, by the way, for still around. Appreciate you lurking and supporting me all the time. And you really deserve it. Uh. Rain, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. Great. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. I am going to start going a little faster. Just because yeah. I would like to get to day three. I'm skipping. You may hate me. Rain, ready to walk home. Yep. Time to go home. Sayori, about what happened earlier. Eh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that thing cut after? Oh, no, that's the really first time I see the fight like that. Okay, I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't you don't hate them, do you? Oh, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Rain. It's nice that I get to find two the club, but I think this will make you happy at school. Shh, go away, Sayori. Say, Ari, you need to go away. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is why I do not play visual novels, chat. I like having active gameplay. I hate visual novels. I'm only doing this because you got me to 900. Let's do this. You'll understand. Okay. Um. Incongruent. Intellectual. Misfortune. You'll see when you get to- okay. Variance. Yeah, Act, act 2 is where you realize when you- at the end of Act 1, the start of Act 2, Shush. is when you realize why people enjoy the game. Philosophy. Agonizing. Uncontrollable. Hmm. Tone, extraordinary, wrath, unrestrained. Though I really do hate cliffhangers. I will try if I can, but it is gonna get oh, late. Oh, come on! <laughs> that was good! <laughs> huh? What do you mean? Uh I mean, Mon Monica makes the same joke, so not original, but... What? <laughs> Alright, I am gonna skip dialogue then if you don't want cliffhangers! 
Yo, Sayori, looks like you've got in a good mood today. Mother, I'm gonna beat everybody. Yeah, just read everything, you just don't have to voice act for it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just still not used to being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always simple things with you anyways. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come over to, with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Eh, that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't you want to take a look at your... Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Eh, why that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just want to look at it. Uh... Sarah's the it's a fumble so that didn't Ah I knew it. I could see right through you, Sari. That's not fair. How did you even know? She was trying to try to fucking use us for a snack, you bitch! I am not your sugar daddy. Don't clip that. Don't fucking clip that. Do not clip that. What do you mean don't clip that? I was in the bathroom. I'm absolutely clipping that. No! At least I'll have plenty of clips. No, shut up, Fleet. I'm hungry. That took me a second to realize. I'm really hungry. Um, no, Fleet, they'll be posted on YouTube. Don't worry. Um, please don't download my clips. <laughs> That's weird. It's simple. If you have enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack from coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money, so I'll lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry, so until it only leaves the one option. Ah! I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> I love Yuri so much. Hi, Yuri. You're really pretty. <laughs> That's all. She's just, she's just like, I don't want to date her, but she's really pretty, like... Shy bean hands, like, I'm doing that hand thing, like... <laughs> she's just really pretty, I like her a lot! Um... Oh, you, you said it, Yuri is the person you interact with the most in this game, so... I like her loads. That's good. After the end of day three, I'm gonna make some food and go to the bathroom. Fair? Yeah. Fair, all right. Yeah. Yuri said in giggles. Eh. I didn't know she was listening in. Her face is in her book, as always. Ah, I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri, tell Rain to let me borrow some money. No! That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. Me, um... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that... Me, yeah. also me, Zelda. <laughs> Zelda statue. Mm. <laughs> no, like for real, I, I I only buy shit that I can only afford. That's why it's on my throne. Yeah. Oh, one second. I need to go to this. Then I will also run an ad then, so... Money's what is that? I've never heard of it. Lol. And while I'm doing that, I'll run an ad so it doesn't happen during, like, a critical part of the stream. Um, I have ad automatically running off. So essentially, it doesn't run an ad every once in a while. Like, I, I, I choose when to run them. But it does run them when you re-enter the stream or at certain points, and I cannot control that. But I can control when it happens. At the very least, to some extent. So I try to do that. Anyways, my body was brought to you And frankly, after putting the shoes like that, your suffering is fair enough for retribution. Damn. Uh, did I just... I didn't mean it like that. I got too absorbed in my book. Uh. <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Jerry. It doesn't help much, but the, it's a fun side of you. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. Hat. Still coming from you, Sayori. There's a little devil inside of all of us, isn't there? Uh, don't let her fool you. So you're not exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But you wouldn't have to come. If it weren't for, you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had a trick not to key into making them. 
Come on, give me more credit than that, Sakiari. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, something fucking hit her. I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles out of the desk. Ow. What was... Eh? A cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. Is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution? Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> Natsuki. I was gonna give it to you, but then I heard you Bobby blab about the cupcakes. I was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. <laughs> Natsuki! That's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Sayori hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sayori... Oh, why did that fucking trigger my Siri? I also hate Natsuki. So, my least favorite character is Natsuki, then Sayori, then Monica, and then Yuri is my favorite. <laughs> I only just don't like Monica because she Such looks... Such a hateful person. Monica's... The way her face is drawn... Is it bothers me because it looks like a fucking VTuber that hasn't been rendered yet. So she has no like she has no depth to her face. She's You're only saying that because she faces you directly. Yes, if she had an angle like Sayori has or she any has of the other angle poses, they just aren't her default. Yes, and her default sucks. So I hate her. She's second in line, but Yuri is best girl. Also, Natsuki is the easiest route, of course. No, I'm going for fucking Yuri. Fuck that. I fucking don't want you. I already started on Yuri route. Bit my tongue. Uh, you're going through a lot over just one cookie. Because they're... Can I try? Jeez, beggars can't be choosers, but yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. So I'm really happy to share this one with me. Hey, hey, hey. I'm not laughing. Oh, look. They're hugging. As I drink. I get it, I get it. Cookies on hand. Natsuki reaches and nugs up, up to nudge Sayori off of her. Um. Sayori suddenly is not take a bite of Natsuki cookie. Hey! Do you serious? Do that. Damn. Thief! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, huh? Such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Eh. Natsuki glides around. Monica is in the club room. Ugh. Where is Monica, anyways? Good question. I, and you've heard a thing about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't heard, or haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. I should save. There. Of course she's okay. She probably just has something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Eh? You don't think she she's a... I wouldn't su be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Yeah, that's true. Excuse me. Suddenly door swings open. A little bit of Monica in my... <laughs> Hi, Dama. How are you? Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. Uh, I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh. Monica chose to discover over her boyfriend after all. She's so strong-willed. Boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Ah, never mind that. What held you up anyways? Ah. Well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Uh, please, no spoilers, Dama. Thank you. That makes it no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must have not heard it since I was practicing. I love that slide in. <laughs> practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played musica. Music as well, Monica. I I don't really. I just kind of stare. started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool. You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. Yay. Oh, you have no idea about this game. Lamau. No animation, just no. grab PNG and slide. Yeah, that sounds about right, honestly. Yay! What? Oh, I'm not... Hang on. There we go. That sounds so cool. I also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Rain. Yeah, see, she looks fine like this, but with your front face, who's head patting me? Cardi. Oh my god, shut up. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, I didn't mean to pressure you or anything like that. Ah, don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently, and I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. 
So, I didn't miss anything, did I? Not really. Choose to leave out of Sierra's mischief. Mischief's squad. Should not get clear. Anyway, so I can set it down. Sierra's much more. Hey, Yuri. Eh? Ah, I suddenly know Sierra's through a different one that we've been reading together. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Ah, no. I was kind of just waiting for you. Ah, if that's the case, why don't we go ahead and get started? Yeah, let's. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make I some tea first? Oh, hi, Artie. No, I was just saying who had pat me and then said, oh, it's Artie. Ah, yes. I have lost three followers. Congratulations. Is it my shitty voice acting? I guess so. Marcy, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? Get, get off. Get off. Get off my freaking microwave. <laughs> no. But mother, it's warm here. There's nothing. Why, if it's icy cold. Mother, it is warm. Why would you let me leave? I'm picking up the cat. One second, chat. I have kidnapped the cat. She's mine now. She's in my arms. She cannot escape. <laughs> Chat, say hello to Marcy the cat. I hello better to see. Marcy, cat. I better see some hi Marcy's in chat right now. Right now, chat. I mean, you don't have a cat cam, so there's not really much to say hi to. No, bad fleet. She's hiding. You made her angry. What? What the deck? No! <laughs> okay. I see how it is. I'm offended. No, don't take it off. Stop it. Fine, fine. I see how it is. Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing I can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Uh, Yuri sends up and makes her way to the closet. I follow a watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher for the shelf. The kind with the filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me this water pitcher and... Get COVID, Lamau. I already had it like seven times, my dude. It's... It's... It's just like... It's just here. Can you give it to me, like, in February so I can miss classes and not my trip to the Bahamas? Thanks. Uh, I'm gonna plug this in at the teacher's chest, and we'll go get some water. Yeah, where the fuck are the teachers in this whole game? Like, are there any teachers? No? I see how it is. She walks past me. All of the clubs take place after school. Yeah, but normally there's, like, a teacher, like, in charge, right? Yeah. Damn. Okay. I simply watch her movements. So my surprise she moves to contrast to speaking mannerisms. No, being stripped, I see how it is. Especially because of her long legs. Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Damn, no close. Hey, I have a boob window. I can put that on too. See? Yeah, I think it's in Japan, if I'm correct. Yeah. It takes place in Japan. See? I'm sexy. Wait, hang on now. Hang on. Fleet, you haven't seen the whole outfit, have you? Hee <laughs> hee. Look at me. Yeah, I'm, they have. I'm a, I'm a sexy boy. I also have wings. <laughs> Why? It's yeah, my the, the outfit. No, it's from the sexy outfit. See? Look at me. I'm a fairy. Also, if I hold down control, I can spin myself. You spin me right around, baby. Right around. See, that is a thing. <laughs> Every time I come back, you become stranger and stranger. Well, um, the fans wanted it, so you can blame them. Oh, I'm just in the corner now, I see. I will take the wings off, though. <laughs> uh, and I will go back to my normal outfit, because I want that. I blame both. That's fair, that's fair. 
I also kind of just like the idea of a cooler outfit. I also want to get our... Maybe I want to see what Rain would look like with long hair, but we'll see. Anyways. Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, might as well walk with you. Yeah, why not? Shall we go then? Yeah. Hmm, where are you off to? Eh. We're just... Yuri's gonna make some tea, so I suddenly raised... It's a... Display this to Monica. Yep. We're just filling the water pitcher. Ah, okay. Sorry, I was just a bit curious. That's a kind of one-person job, isn't it? That's... Monica, please mind your own business for once. Damn! Or do you want me to tell the others there's something wrong with helping Rain... Involve Rain in club activities? Eh, damn. Uh... My mouth gapes. I... I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Hmm. And let's go, Rain. Uh, Yuri quickly exits the room and I follow. Damn, okay! Once in the hallway, she suddenly puts her forehead against the wall. I spoke without thinking. How could I say something like that? Nice. Yuri, I just... Something about the way she said that. It made me feel so irritated. What's wrong with me? No, Yuri. I think you did the right thing. I wasn't expecting it, but it's also not right for Monica to judge people like that. And I'm gonna save. Because I'm paranoid. I, I, I've always... It's saving? Ever since I lost my save in Digibot Cyber Suit, the hacker's memory of, like, 300 hours, I kind of just, uh... Yeah. I have issues. Rain, how come even when I just think bad, you're being nice to me? Because. Womp womp. <laughs> Nothing you do is as bad as you make it seem in your head. Nobody is perfect. We all have emotions and we can't hide them away. But you always simple amplify things in your head. Your mind turns a light ray counter to a hurricane. Ah, uh, no. Wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that? Why would I hate you? I can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of friend would do that? Rain mentions their long hair and so on. Ha, my mind to like, like, Legolas. Who, who's Legolas? 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 Who the fuck from is Lord that? The elf from Lord of the Rings. Huh? The elf man from Lord of the Rings. Bro, I haven't seen Lord of the Rings in like three years. The fuck. Link Twink. Oh. Yeah, him. Damn. Who sent me a message? Hi, hi, hello. Welcome to stream. Hi, Firefox. Uh, uh. When do you say, uh, um, I can I have a B-side a long day at work? Absolutely. Hello, my second, least favorite. <laughs> Yuri lifts her head. Rain, I really like being friends with you. Ah, ha, ha. Thanks, Yuri. I like being friends with you, too. It's kind of awkward saying something like that, but I do my best to help Yuri feel better. Anyway, yeah. Let's have a go. Yeah. Let's return to the classroom. Rain, do you like oolong tea? Ah, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really like doing this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? <laughs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches a teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming to her a, 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 a little to herself. <laughs> uh, I'm not a browser. I will bite you, Lamal. <laughs> um, you must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed I was doing a bit of thinking. And I decided I would try expressing myself a little more. Turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around, anyway. Ah. Oh. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Rain. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. Why should Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us? All right, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh? Why's that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read my back against the wall rather than bending over on, at my desk. Ah, sorry. I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage me. Okay. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because my, uh, my, my, your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading. Yes. I have a terrible reading posture. So that's why we just sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieve the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. <laughs> it's back not because of her posture. 
No shit, Sherlock! <laughs> she fucking jumped on that too quick! Do you know why, though? No, and I don't want to know. You gotta let It's me... because she has massive boobs. What? It's because her boobs is so big. Well, I don't have that problem! <laughs> Turning you to a bra. Shut up, Lee. Um... Okay, I... Shut up, Throne! I don't care that nobody has gifted me in a while. I have... Stop it. Not you, Fleet Throne. Uh, Yuri's size pose her toe. Shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri's always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost like more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with her hand, like... That's not holding the book. I end up in the position that makes it even harder to focus. Because I now need to worry about making sure it asks you to touch her chest. Oh! Aha! Uh -huh. Boobas. I see. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. I will use all my willpower to focus on reading. Dude, if, you, if you're if you that fucking horny that you can't focus on reading a book for 30 minutes at all, you can see our girl boobs and man, you need to... Damn. After a few minutes, I finally managed to relax a little bit. You can back. see his girl boob. Literally. Above the chakra rest. Sorry, I the face wrapper. You can have as much as you That's okay. I would take it. You sure? Well, if I just do that, I might get some on the pages. Ah, you're right. Didn't think about that. My bad. No need to apologize, Ray. If you're gonna need me, my, my, my... No! <laughs> Stop murdering fucking fleet! Holy shit. They're having a whole war. No need Good. to apologize. Don't encourage them! I, I encourage wars okay. against Fleet specifically. The mouth. My second amendment. Alright, alright, hang on now. <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> that's the wrong one. No, that's the right to bear arms. I know, that's why I'm saying it's the wrong one. They're talking about free speech. <laughs> no, he meant. I would need to take a hold of- oh my god. Boris. Mommy, sorry. Mother, mm, hello. Why are you so pretty? <laughs> I did stop- I told them to stop calling you a browser, but your name is- Firefox! And Call she's- Nine Tails. <laughs> um, she holds it so that I don't have any harder time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, there's already two. Totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. I mean, Firefox is better than Chrome. I have to give it that. And Edge. And, um, Internet Explorer, which is dead. Honestly? Anyway. I hope. Maybe you're gonna talk to her. I just let's talk with her mouth. Why? 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 We have not been friends for more than two days. <laughs> Actually, this is day three. Whatever. Oh fuck you! Bing and Ed suck ass. Move that Firefox before them. Shut the fuck up. Oh, it's Opera Google Firefox. Bing no, Ed. no. Chrome sucks ass too. I hate Chrome. Opera Firefox Chrome or Google. <laughs> this I use Bing. Go well, fuck Bing. Nobody talks about Bing. Nobody uses Bing. Nobody uses Bing. <laughs> Nobody uses Bing. It's a dead <laughs> sight! Congrats on being the 1%.
I can't free shit my ass. Where's my free shit? I use Way Firefox. I would say, like I would say 20% of people use Firefox. I use Firefox. Chrome is still the dominant one. And then I think it goes Firefox. And then, like, nobody uses fucking Bing. Oh, that makes sense. Anyways. Oh my god, she's embarrassed, chat. Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um... <laughs> Sorry. Anyways. Bro, it's better than the one question someone fucking asked me earlier today, and I had a whole epiphany over it. They went, if you were not gonna, like, wake up tomorrow, what would you, like, do with the rest of your life? And I looked at her, <laughs> and I'm like... I'm stay awake. <laughs> what? Nobody asked me that on stream, goddamn. Sleep, Lamal, instantly, Lamal. <laughs> it's a mood. Rain, sorry, I guess I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, uh, that's well, you were just helping. That's something that friends do, right? Yeah, I mean, not really in this kind of context, but yeah, that's all it was. I am gonna skip because I need to use the bathroom. So, yeah, then you don't need to stop me or anything. I see the situation got tense. Yep, heart is pounding, nervously taking the. This time, Yuri's eyes meet mine. How do you do colors? Okay, okay every everyone. <laughs> Yuri jolts back. Time to share poems. Rain, can you help Yuri put away? The oh, that's you. Can we help Yuri put away the tea stuff? White right? woman jump scare. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Karen. Run. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Spell is abruptly broken. I'll, I'll take care of the cups. Yeah, Yuri puts the teacups on the floor. Yep. Always what? Yuri. Let's see what you've written for today. Oh, yeah. Do you like it, Rain? This one might be better than yesterday's. How did you pick up on this so quickly? I don't know. Cool. Not used to this, used to what? I don't know. It's fine. Take your time. Yuri Beasy, collect your thoughts. Yep. Yes, I love you, Yuri. I met you two days ago, marry me. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri nods. Really, I don't believe it. I really only care for myself. And besides, people would just laugh at me. Do you really think that? Again, Yuri nods. Huh. Even your close friends? Eh, Yuri doesn't respond to that. I wonder why anyway. Do you want to share the poem you wrote today? Yeah, I do. With you. Oh, God. The raccoon happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as a... What the f- Oh. An ordinary human. I couldn't read that. Holy shit. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread. My subconscious well aware of the consequences. Well aware that the raccoon is... Fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife with, was the symptom. The bread, it, my hungry curiosity, the uh, raccoon, and urge. Um, holy shit, how much did you fucking oh, write? An idiot sandwich. I know, I'm an idiot sandwich. Anyways, uh, uh, the moon increments its phase and reflects that much more light off of my cutting knife. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto a, the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten used to each other. <sighs> the raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me excitement. A rush of blood, classic Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread and I feed myself again. Oh, that's dark. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, I don't want to. Nope, 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 nope. Mm -mm, nope. Have you decided that Yuri is not the best girl? 
No, she is. It's just I don't want to read that. I'm skipping this for a reason. Thank you for the head pats. Sayori. Ooh, I like this one. Rain has some nice feelings in it, and I'm glad. You think it's better than yesterday? I think I like them both. Yep, Sayori. I'm skipping. I gotta pee. I'm sorry. You can go pee now. No, I wanna. I wanna do it after Act One, or after this day. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, Rainer is getting too close to our clipper. I remember too well. Huh? You might get hurt at some point. <laughs> I don't know what my... you're. Oh, what are you talking about? I... What are you Sh talking about, Char? No, I choked up my own saliva. <laughs> Lamau. Um. Eh. Well. I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep it in mind. Well, whatever. Anyways, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like happy poems. Wait, something... Sometimes I like sad poems, too. Sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Yeah. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad? I can't see you liking something sad, Sayori. Well, I like the happy the most. But sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head, a sad poem can, can help give the rain cloud a little hug. And make a nice happy rainbow. Sayori, that's an unexpectedly poetic. Eh, is it? Maybe I'm getting a better expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Rain. I should get go write that down then. You can read my poem now, okay? Bottles. I pop off my scalp like the Pop off my scalp! It's metaphor. Holy shit! Um, the love cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. Uh, yeah, just censor it too, if you can, please. Or just DM Willow. Yeah, either one. Yeah, just DM it to me. I have my DMs open. Uh, and I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in bottles all in a row. My collection makes me a lot of friends. Each bottle a starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friends feel a certain way. Down comes the bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper, my fingers go. Like exploring a dark cave. Discovering the secrets hiding in nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow off the dust off of my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf should give you some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally, I I open up and in come my friends. They all come in in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? Frantically pull them from the shelf one after the other. I hold them out to each of my friends. Oh shit, this gets dark. What the fuck? <laughs> um, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. Every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They are shouting, pleading something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. Holy crap. Sayori, did you really write this? Of course I did. Did I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but, I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot, and I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy. Well, not exactly. Maybe it's because I'm so used to being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Aw, thanks. I feel like I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little better. Okay, Writing yeah, is like I magic. I get it. I get it. Yeah, it's it just fucking skipped. <laughs> just fucking did. Yeah, okay. So he just used the skip function when he should not have. <laughs> So yeah, don't press the skip button, by the way. It's not lit up. I can't press it. Good. Don't press it. Because okay. it will skip all of the text. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do that. That's why I'm clicking. Duh. I want to read some of it. <clears throat> pretty, pres pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah, writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. Haha, <laughs> don't get ahead of yourself. Say you're a bit of having to just test something. Be very careful. Yeah, 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 shush. It's a fucking dating sim. Y'all are insane. Jesus Christ. No, like, in the shush! Like, there's important text that you don't want to skip. <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> Tix! Okay. See, it makes it pessimistic. Mmm, Monica. I 
again, Rain. How's the writing going? All right, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not oh, going yeah, bad. Monica's right before the hard part that helps out with it. So I'm you'll miss happy it. that you're applying yourself. Maybe you should help come with a masterpiece. Aha, I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I gave my poem to Monica. Hmm. All right. This one's good. It feels like you're not only getting more comfortable with your style, but the imagery is better than the last one I read. Just wondering, but have you been finding inspiration in Yuri's writing style? Hmm. I guess so. You can can't not can't deny she's talented. Yeah, totally. I think her poems are the most romantic. That's the best way to describe it. She's like a totally different person when she picks up a pen. I noticed that too. Or when she's talking about literature, it's like a light turns on inside of her. Mm-hmm. Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I've tried. Who knows what's going on in that head of hers? I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. No, of course not. I just meant like I wish she didn't keep so much to herself. But still, defending her like that. You must be pretty into her. Eh. You completely misunderstood. Aha, calm down, I'm kidding. Besides, I'm pretty sure she already got a boyfriend. Wait, really? Yeah, a fictional one anyways. Monica kind of whispers that last part to me. It's just a hunch, but... Well, there's not really anything wrong with that. Oh, well, I know. I was just saying. But anyway, you want me to read my poem now. I like the way this one turned out. Uh, Alright, let's take a look. Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors, flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, an endless ca cacophony of meaningless noise, noise that won't stop, violent, grating, waveform, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent, like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a vinyl on a piece of crust, an endless poem, meaningless. Interesting. Hmm. Did it scroll down to the bottom? Yeah. There was nothing there. I thought there would have been. Okay. Because hers tend to scroll down a little bit. It doesn't show in the log. Well, well. It would have said, like, load me or something like that, but it's fine. No. I already scrolled down to the bottom. There was nothing there but empty. Uh -huh. I, I can always load. No, it's fine. It's fine. You don't need to. Okay. Maybe more check than your last one, huh? I might be thinking of a different poem. I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just kind of a thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. She's seen where and how she could see where to totally change the mood of the poem. Almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to sneak over the noise. I see. I see it's still hard to... It is how... What it's about, though. <laughs> Sometimes it's asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. Poem could be as abstract as the physical expression of the feeling. Or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. What? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. You never know what you might change your mind. Or when something unexpected may happen. Wait, is that even a tip about writing? What are we talking about? Ha ha ha. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Ah! Ah! Ah ha! Ah ha! What? <laughs> the skip button is now unlocked! <laughs> Don't use the skip button. Why? It will, like, actually ruin a lot of stuff. But I like, have it, a it, save it... file. This the way the skip works in this game is very 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 fast. It will skip like a hu a hundred lines of dialogue in okay, a second. Okay, okay, okay. Hi, Hot Jack. How are you? Hmm. Well, I got a bit. I made that mistake. Okay, okay, okay. Calm, you're Yeah, that was the video he sent me. Is he sent me a video of someone hitting the skip button and immediately facing the consequences? <laughs> Y'all are so silly. Hi, hi, hello. Welcome to stream. Oh. Hi, Draco. How are you? <coughs> I'm dying. I commit it's better than the last one. It's nice to see you're putting in some effort. That's good, but I still don't like this at all. It's trying too hard to be serious. Eh, what do you mean by that? Poems don't need to be all deep sounding to express something. It's gonna just sound like you're forcing it. That? 
I didn't know that. Huh. Honestly, don't bother to write a poem like this until you're on Yuri level. Ask if you start all of a sudden. Don't yeah, you're me. stuck in ad okay. because you just joined stream. Yeah, that's fine. It's I like when people tell me that's the point of that redeem. What are you talking about? And keep your voice down. You know Yuri would like this kind of angsty just because he's a talented writer doesn't mean I. Ooh, looks like I'm in trouble. Ah, I've been given a hat. Someone struck a nerve, though what I did is beyond me. I'm so done with you. Now ask yourself to pour my hand back to me. Take your two poem. If you go to someone else, then don't just show it to me. Ouch. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? Well, yeah, I have something extra planned for today. So, if everyone could sit in front of the room. Thank you for the head pass. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Oh, do we really have to just stay for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just have to ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really think do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We don't need much for more than a few decorations. Sayori has been working on posters and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually gonna be doing for this event. Ah, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're gonna be performing. Performing? Per- Um, Monica, yeah, we're gonna be having a poetry performance. Each of us are gonna choose a poem to recite during the event. The cool part is we're also gonna let anyone else come up and recite poems too. Sayori's so putting it all in the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Sayori, so who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for- Shut up! Bro, my phone Man. keeps thinking Sayori is Siri. <laughs> Uh, oh, thank you for the water. I will drink some after this. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't you didn't already start putting the posters up, did you? Eh, well I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no, it's not a bad idea, but I didn't set up this, you know. There's no way I'm going to be forming in front of a group of people like that. I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagine Yuri sh it Yuri shakes hard in fear. Guys, no, see, Yuri, I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri never showed the poems to everyone just, until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a group of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. I'm so sorry. But I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put in on a good performance, then it will inspire, inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah, it's about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun. That's right. And those, for those reasons that we're all in this club today, don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same period that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if that... Yes. I'm saving. You have made me more paranoid. By sending a poem, then I know you can do it. And that's again, you already remain silent. Sayori looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we could do is help them out a little bit. Ah, uh, nice. Well, maybe, but... It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Ugh, fine. I guess I'll have to just get it over with. Alright, phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri dejectedly answered on everyone's expected faces. Sigh, I guess I don't really have a choice. Aha, that's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously gonna be the death of me. Oh gosh, you'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem, Yuri. We're gonna practice writing them in front of each other. No way, Monica! This is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite a poem for the club, then how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no, don't make worry. I'll sort of have to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. And I go next? Aha, of course. Now let's see. Monica flips her note for the title of the poem is The Way They Fly. Ahem. Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an intent expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica visits. Uh, ooh. Yeah. Finishes the recitation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That was so good, Monica. Aha, thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. 
Are you ready to go next, Sayori? I'll go next. Oh, uh, Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. Oh, she's clenching the paper, chat. She's clenching the paper. Keeping her eyes as she walks quickly over to the podium. The poem is called Yuri. Uh, you can do it, Yuri. An after image of a crimson eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she so suddenly putting in so much more effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed in her books. Her quivering words transform into sharp syllables of fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns, and its structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the world on fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her as she's bewildered even herself. I... It's up to me to save this situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me after, and we give Jerry the recognition she deserves. It's not like we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught off so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back to her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay, I guess I'm next then. So Yuri hops out of her chair, and she's saying, my meadow. Ah. Ah ha ha. Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sayori, it's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do so easily? Shut up! My fucking Siri is gonna be the death of me. <laughs> she keeps turning going... off. I... Just turn off. Just turn off Siri for a bit. No, no. How do I disable Siri? Let's just look up Siri in your settings. There. I turned it Theory, off. Ability, always listen for. I turned it off. I turned it off. I found it. D uh, try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting to yourself. Why was that held for review? The fuck? <laughs> you said shut up. Shut up, Dad. quick reminder um if you are not following the stream it's absolutely free to do so it helps me out as a content creator and if we hit 1k by the end of this year i will be posting feet pictures congrats holy shit it's been three hours this stream got cut off because of wi-fi <clears throat> anyways imagine you're reciting yourself in the mirror your own hand what what he they're commenting on the link and also the feet pictures the feet pictures. Yeah. Luna, you can't snuggle with me. You shit on the ground. How long are you going to be mean to your poor cat? Yes, For the rest we, of the night. It's an in incentive, and it's never going to happen, so congrats. It was more so a joke because Cult of the Lamb said they were adding sex to their game because they hit 300,000 followers on Twitter. Twitter. And I said as a joke, if we hit 1k by the end of the year, I'd post feet pictures as like not intending, but it's not gonna happen anyway, so don't worry about it. Make a it. Patreon. Make a Patreon. And if you hit 1k, you can drop a Patreon with pictures of your feet. I was joking about the weirder thing, but shit, I guess I wasn't wrong. Lamal. No worries. Honestly, it's more of a joke than anything. I know it's not gonna happen. Um, I see, I see. Okay, then. Sorry, it's just for for match. Yep. Cool. No, I will not open up. Suck my balls. I'm just... It comes out nicely, Sierra. If they're too nicely... I don't really understand. Do, 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 do. Oh, shit! Dama! Congrats on the VIP Discord role. Let me... Um, Willow, can you go into Discord and give Dama the Discord VIP role? Uh, I'm doing... Dama, say something in general, chat, so I can find you guys. So, uh, a Discord VIP role essentially is, uh, 
you get access to the sub chat, and, but you do not get the perk of the monthly audio like our subscribers do. If you are a subscriber to me on Twitch, you get access to a 30 second to one minute audio of your choice. It must be SFW because I cannot guarantee you are not a minor. Which you shouldn't be watching my content if you're, you know, 12 anyways, but whatever. <laughs> like, please. Anyways, okay, but what if it does? Then, yeah, I will post feed pictures. Congrats. Like, it's not that big of a deal. My feet are not... My feet are not, like, sexy or anything, Lamel. I don't There know. you go. You're a bit now. Congrats. Um, anyways, you have to text, well, okay, now who's next? Natsuki, hmm, don't make me go for me. Okay, I'm skipping both. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, so it's called... I discuss your presenting. Anyways, jump. Once she starts just writing, we start to... <laughs> it disappears, okay? She unenthused her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's not so strange. My sound works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down as if given luck to the poem. Asuku finishes and everyone applauds. She goes back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You're better not make me do that again. Ah, uh, well, you at least feel prepped enough to recite a poem in other people. I mean, I'm thinking it would be easier. Yeah. I do agree. Sometimes doing stuff in front of your friends is harder than random people. Because they will never meet you again. Your friends will. <laughs> Make sure... Ah, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone, I think this is about it for today. And the festival's coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival... We'll be planning to finish tomorrow, and then we'll have a weekend to prepare. Monday's a big day. Can't wait. Can't. I can do this. I can do this. All right. Stand up. I will save. Ah! Who followed? Tasty. Taste Taste my Gucci goo followed. Lamal. Thanks for the follow. Funny name you got there. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as the best could do it. It's like, yeah. No, my best ready to go see Ari Lip. Let, look at you two always going home. Kind of adorable, isn't it? Eh <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal about it. it. Must be a little nice, though. Well, ah, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Rain. You don't say it. Whatever. Let's just go already. Yeah. Stop being weird. Ah, uh, from earlier. Like, how do we get to, I mean, seriousness? Yuri asked to walk home with you, huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> yeah, you are. I would walk home with Yuri. I walk home with you every day, girl. We live next to each other. You can li live without me for one day. With Yuri, huh? Why does that make my heart pound? I mean, given how hard it is for her to socialize, I feel awfully turning her down. So isn't she so beautiful and smart? That has nothing to do with uh, what I just said. Uh -huh, you, so you admitted it. Jeez. Something. Well, maybe, but I just like to think about it. It's not like before you need me more, you know? Need you? Sayori. I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry. Everyone is so different. Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. Huh? If you say so. The conversation. Of... Okay. Yay. Is that the end of the day? That's the end of the day. All right, so we're going to run a quick ad and get some nom nom. Yes. And then we'll be back. BRB needs to use the bathroom. Bro, they just unfollowed me. You fucking get out. Jeez. Why? No, out. Goodbye. <laughs> Banned. <laughs> Banned, get out. Your name is weird anyways. Anyways, you all behave. I'm going to leave this chill thing on the screen um i will be back i need to use the bathroom i need to grab some food um and yeah all right i'm muting
If you don't behave, you don't get uppies.
Hello, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, hello. Did you all behave? Hello. One second. Cool. Anyways, um, let's see. Extra L. Oh. Tragedy. Huh? Massacre. Disarray. Incapable. Contamination. Vivacious. Philosophy. Unstable. After a bitch. Incongruent. Heaven set. Existence. Intellectual. Imagination. Sensation? Okay, I was right. Disoriented. And like, oh, I cooked two by accident. Inferno. Slay. Right. Oh man. The last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah, ahaha. Uh, you must have a lot of interpretation. Starting this club and not picking up piano? Hang on, I gotta grab the rest of the food for the microwave. Why is the emote not called Le Bon? Yo, what's up, Owie? Let's chunk go bonk. Wait a nah. minute. I know you. Yes. Do I go sicko mode or not? No. Okay. Mother, also, I'm DMing you. It's important. I know you said that, but I wasn't sure if that was still. No, no, no. That explain explain things. Don't bonk me. It's something else. I was talking to Willow about in DMs. No, no, that is not. Yeah. <laughs> They don't need to know that. Pretty six o'clock. Rain has so many shits today. Shut the fuck up. No. I'm surprised Firefox hasn't yeeted, but I guess passion. Well, now you, now you, now you're cause it to happen by mentioning it. Exactly. That's the point. Super happy. Ah, yes. I have a mustache. Ah, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Eh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday? Lamau. I'm not talking about our part of the festival, but the whole day of school gets to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid. That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Come on. Um, are you saying that you don't like squid? You of all people? Eh, I don't say I didn't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Monica. What? Hey. Keep going. That's not you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. It oh. don't mean I, I K A is squid in Japanese. Oh, that's why she said it makes no sense in translation. She keeps breaking the fourth wall and makes me more sus about her being fucking not in the game, but like a fucking AI or some shit. He's not a robot. Okay, but, like, I don't care. I'm gonna keep assuming that until I'm told otherwise, so fuck you. I just did tell you. Game, tell me otherwise. Game, prove me wrong. Let's focus on, uh -huh, fine, fine, your reaction. Excuse me, there is Sayori. Hey, Sayori. Eh? You're Spissing impossible. Out. What? 
attack speed. <laughs> Super fast. Don't mind me. You go talk to everyone else. Oh no, she's getting depressed. We're not liking her. Everything all right. I'm gonna eat while it does this. I will slow that down. What? Auto forward time. Uh, if you have the game set on auto, how long it takes for it to advance to the next oh, line of dialogue. Oh, yeah, that I want faster. <laughs> what would it be? Faster. That feels like a little off. Yeah. Sorry for assuming things. I'm gonna bend down a lot while I eat. Okay, still faster. Faster! Faster! <laughs> it's faster for me to skip. Don't hit the skip button, just Not, click No, the I meant clicking. Um, the skip button isn't even on. Yeah, so this, as far as I know, this game doesn't take into account how long each line of dialogue is when auto-advancing. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Um, I tried to beat it up, but it's just too slow. Hey, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayuri recently? Anything with her up with her? In what way do you mean? I'm reading into a little much perceived downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica appears around, who's, yeah. Maybe there's something on her mind, but I'm sure it's not, I'm not the one asking, surprised I'm not the one asking you, right? Certainly know a lot, her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she never really likes this. She always talks about me and talk to me about the things that bothers her. She lucky, fucking likes you, and she's mad that you're with Yuri, duh. But this time, when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to see if you asked if it, anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. Are we at day four or five now? We're on day four. Thank fucking god. <gasps> That's why I don't play visual novels. I'm only doing don't this for understand. chat. There's no actual gameplay. It's boring. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, it's just not really an interesting game, but I'm still gonna play it for you guys. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you It's know? also just, like, a fairly short game as well, so... It's not short. Short is an hour. This is eight hours long. That's... that's right. short for most games that come out these days. True, true. What's your question, Firefox? You said I start breaking it up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that the maybe thing on her mind is you and me? How on earth did you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably should... Most games are 60 plus hours. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, I have like over a thousand hours in some games these days. I get that, but also like... For... In my experience, I've played several visual novels. Yes, you can have one because you asked nicely. Um... That they've been about two hours long maximum. This is much longer than a normal visual okay, novel. Okay, so most of the visual novels you've played have been made, have been, per, you've played them through Steam, and they've been made by indie developers. Because yeah. that's not how long a visual novel usually lasts. Oh. This is why I don't play them. Anyways, Sherry talks about you more than anything else, you know? Eh, she's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. This isn't an indie game. Yeah, I know. What? No way. So Sarah it's longer. Is always like that. Sarah, she's with sunshine. Just... Ugh. I'll have a dialogue. <laughs> um, I'll try to talk to her, so not try not to think about it for now. Guys, if this game is not what you hype it up to be, I will be really mad at you. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, bro. Hey, listen, the next I day is it. you spending time with Yuri. Okay. Promise? <laughs> promise? 
yeah, the, the next day, if you pick to spend, at the end of today, you pick if you spend time with Natsuki or Yuri, and then then the day after is just you spend the entire day with that person. Yay, Yuri! <laughs> <laughs> and then right after that, it gets good. <laughs> skipping, skipping, skipping. Yuri, my beloved, I want to sp I want to spend the day with Yuri, so I'm gonna skip dialogue, guys. I'm spending the time with Yuri now. <laughs> Let me skip the Yuri dialogue. Anyways, so I can, I in any case. No, but I want to spend time outside. Okay, because guess, guess you were right. Oh, I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are only concerned. <laughs> it's reminding me of the clip. <laughs> Anyways. Of course, there's certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna send them the clip right after they get to that part. Mother. Can, can you read the dialogue while I eat food? Uh, I'm yeah. hungry. You but eat. if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to Stop. listen. Stop. So just normal voice. Oh my god, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm Yuri's just, voice. I don't care. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> just normal voice, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I that I don't know why, but brain just went no. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Uh, it's really not that big of a deal. No. I'm just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. Shut up. Sayori? Please. Yeah, she seems a little off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh? That's quite romantic. Bro, stop it! Eh? <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that. I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sayori and I have just been friends for a long time, that's all. Ah, I see. Then perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. Heck yeah. Rain. The world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Ah. So you think there might actually be something behind it after all? Yes. Hmm. I think that Sayori is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside her head. And she may not always know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior today, so... Oh, and I also... Sorry. But in your case, it looks like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Sayori. She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? I guess. But you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Damn, friends on Sayori. Damn, okay. I will <laughs> deeply to my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious as if she's searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes. Person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you aren't aware were in you. Aww. That is... I don't think I've heard her say that before. <laughs> I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Damn. Damn. I see how it is. Baby! She... I don't think I've heard her <laughs> dialogue just on this day. Guys. This is what... This is... This, mm, I have no words. Yeah, definitely give... I'm a pretty simple guy. So, I just fuck fish and that's it. <laughs> so I think I'm pretty good at understanding about feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Ah, that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. Anyways... As long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, 
As long as you're okay with it. Yeah. I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. Okay. How long is Act 2? I'd say Act 2... If, if Act 1 is four hours, then I'd say Act 2 is three and a half hours. Yeah, we're doing Act 2 tomorrow. I'm not yeah, that was, that was, today. yes, that's why I suggested splitting it into two streams. Yeah, okay, everyone. Some of Monica comes up the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I knew it, everything's back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve the poems, and I did the same. My contact with con Monica. Oh! If I don't get five dollars right now, I'm gonna press that skip button. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how that works. You'll ruin it for yourself and you'll also miss the Yuri day. I know. Rain, your writing has only improved these last few days. Every poem you showed me has done nothing short of spectacular. I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious even. Blah, blah. Yuri, I love you, but sometimes... I just want the day to end. Yuri, I love you. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Sit and look pretty in the corner, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you really did sample chasing after. Is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. That's silly. I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. I never thought you'd feel like this. Yep. Cool. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's why I don't do fucking give this game. Oh, come on, she's trauma dumping. <laughs> yep. During lunchtime, I eat by myself. Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot to do some reading. In fact, I always have some books with me. You can say I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one way to put it anyway. But books are so full of amazing and inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with. The people you just know would make a really good friend. Beautiful people always put a smile on your face. More deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover this mystery of life. So when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by my friends every day. You know? Yeah, I've and definitely never heard her dialogue for this day. And those friends don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. And, and they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. People say that about you? I'm not a know-it-all, Rain. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. Man, this is hitting home. What the fuck? <clears throat> Anyways, um, I don't even know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings, and all I could do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you that I really understood what was missing all this time. I haven't really done anything. No. That's wrong. Just being patient and respectful. That's really important to me. Bro, she just wants a fucking, like, person who gives a shit about her. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh. Baby just needed someone to... Someone to be there. What the fuck? I'm definitely not crying over this. Oh, because that's that's something I always wanted. <laughs> this, this is why people play visual novels. Shut the fuck up! This game sucks. <laughs> this game sucks. Meanwhile, crying. <laughs> no, don't. <sighs> I'm so glad that this was This game here. is sad. It made me cry. I'm so glad that I have, like, nobody watching me right now. <laughs> this is why I'm... <laughs> Anyways. I don't play visual novels because I like to repress my feelings. Shut the fuck up. She hits too close to home. <laughs> I'm gonna hit her. Mm, we'll see about that. <laughs> okay! I'm just gonna go finish my bag of cheese now. 
this is really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person, Rain. Are you are you eating or should or do you want to yeah, talk? You talk. I speak, I speak too slowly. I second guess myself all the time. This is why she's the best character. You... <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. I'm crying. I need a moment. I need a moment. <laughs> Okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. This is why I don't use a webcam. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... I relate to her a lot because I've always wanted someone to listen to me. And I hadn't had that for the longest time until really I met you, Willow, and other people. And it just... Why is the music sad? It's making it worse! <laughs> well, I hope you don't relate to her too much. That would be concerning. No, no. Just in the sense of having someone to care about me and how I feel and listening to me. And I've met a few people the last two years of my life who've really made that possible. And you're, you're just one of them. And... Everyone needs someone to care about them. Thanks. Anyways. I read too deeply into things. But every time, you always seem to be just like anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. Bro, she's me! Just in this context, she's only me. I see. Well, I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. And if other people don't see it that way, then screw them. I mean, I joined this club hoping I would make friends. I said I've at least had one success. Wouldn't you? Um... You put it that way. Yeah, we're really just friends now, aren't we? I hear that Chrome listens. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut up. Yuri puts her head in her hands. This time she's smiling as she does it. Do you want me to show you? Look at your tiny smile! <laughs> <laughs> fuck! Yeah, I do. Let me get it for you. <clears throat> the tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing in the distance. A blue green light flickers. A lone figure crosses its path, a silhouette obstructing the eerie glow. My heart pounds. A silhouette the silhouette grows closer and closer. I open my umbrella, casting a shadow to shield me from visibility. Uh, but I'm too late. He steps into the street light. I gasp and drop my umbrella. The light flickers. My heart pounds. He raises his arms. Time stops. The only indication of movement is the amber light flickering against his outstretched arm. The flickering light is in rhythm with the pounding of my heart, teasing me for succumbing to this forbidden emotion. Have you ever heard of a ghost feeling warmth before? Giving up on understanding, I laugh. I understanding is overrated. I touch his hand, flickering stops. Ghosts are blue green. My heart is in fur. Oh shit, she's in love with me. <clears throat> Anyways, I've done crying. Do you dislike it? Ah, no, of course not. I just don't really know how I should respond. Despite your problems, you this is about. I don't know if we have to explain this one. That's fine. I understand this one. Yuri's having... <laughs> no. Does this one mean a lot to you? Yuri nods. I'm not really good with words, but I'm happy that you shared it with me. So thank you, and I hope we keep spending time together. Look at the smile! If anybody clips me crying, I'm going to scream. Oh no, I didn't, because that was like a deeply emotional moment. Yeah, like I seriously do not want that. And, um, the poem is once again. And also, it would have exceeded the maximum clip length. So. Lamau, good. <laughs> Suffer. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Like, I get it, but also, like, that was a very deeply emotional moment, and it's sort of, yeah. it's a little rude to clip that. <laughs> I'm asking you nicely. 
not to. Thank you. Yeah. Ah! Should I your next? <laughs> Sayori. It's nice, I guess. Come on, I already could tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think after you wrote so much else for a year. Eh, I didn't write this one specifically. Maybe that's not really a moment, though. I'm going to skip the rest of these because they're not going to make me cry like Yuri's did, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to read it, but like not. Yeah. <laughs> Of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Rancy. Or is something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just still tired today. All right, just tell me if you do anything. I will. Don't worry about me. If you insist. Yeah, I'm gonna go home. Sorry, Tomato goes feeling well. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, she was in love with us. Okay, not so cute. I'm not. She depresso espresso. Yeah, no thanks. And you didn't even next. Okay, Monica. Jesus Hi, Christ. She just said no. I'm not clicking anything. All I said was I'm just gonna scan the text. I don't want to listen to that. Well, being in this cup is perfect. I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure, but I've been to a certain degree. Oh, I see. Ah, ha, ha. Anyways, sure. Skip as in skim. Skip, not skip as in fast forward. Yeah, skimming it really quickly. Yuri, well, I guess so. Haha, ha. thanks for. Alright, alright, I get you. Just be careful. See, some bats while she's vulnerable, then that could be really hard for her. Books aren't total escape from reality, they're just a bandage. You say I'm with the hurt, she's already been that too. It's my turn. Sure, sure, do, do. The lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer. All meaning, all purpose. All that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather. Lost to drift. The sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope. Knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me. When all the other worlds. All others have turned away. The, the legend is all that remains. The last dim light. Star gl glimmering in the twilight sky. Until one day the wind ceases to blow, I fall and I fall and fall and fall even more. Yet there was a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catched me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look her at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything, and everything, the lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I could speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all to which amount to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. We speak, seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows back a float and adds, I pick up a gust of wind. Okay, I've scrolled to the bottom. There's nothing else to see. Yeah. You know. I've not seen this poem before. I feel like learning it. Did the text change font? What? The text change font? Where? How do you mean? Like, the letters where th she says, I feel like learning, I feel like looks slightly different. It's just bugging my brain, you know? It's the same. I'm seeing things? Okay, okay. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, yeah, I just clicked, I clicked it, and it's the same font. Okay, thank you. I wasn't sure. I was just like, mm. I'm getting tired, so it's becoming to the point where my brain is like, I mean, it's already been three hours, so. Um. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Uh, my boss is texting me, hang on. One second, this is important. I do have to respond to this. How 
fucking dare you. You're welcome. I'm typing something for work. Give me a minute. This is important. I normally wouldn't answer this, but I have to answer it now. Okay. I was very confused because he texted me like three things that I thought were meant for like the main group chat. Like, and I was like, did you mean to send this in the main group chat? And then he's like, that was what was happening. I was like, oh, okay. Anyways, because of my other answers, what if the world start to lose meaning? You know, this all, what, one thing I noticed, it seems like everyone's a couple first writing out things that make them more sad than happy. I uh, surprised. Yep. Humans aren't two dimensional creatures. Huh. You mean one dimensional? Oh, uh, yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica writing tip of the day. Ever too shy to share running because you're afraid you're, it's not that good? I can't really be so really good response because he... That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Thank you. Okay, you three. We're done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second. To me, just someone say... You say something strange now. Eh? Something did sound about the usual. That's right. You gave us just a character club. Catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? You're in, um, in your books, baby. Look, Sarah's in here. Ah, seems you're right. Sigh. Sarah's always here, doesn't she? Oh, around. You're just around up here. Just... Come on, what is happening? <clears throat> is that so? She's alright. Seriously. Both times to go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well. Lovey dovey. Oh, first of all, stop. First of all, stop my back. Yeah. He's like, calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier. Everything is fine. What did you say? What did you say? Anyway. That's right. I see big cupcakes. Challenge accepted. As for myself, we're going to be reprinting and stuff like all the poetry pamphlets. Sarah will be designing them. As for Yuri, Yuri, you can. Uh, um, Guys, that was silly for Yuri. I am useless. No, no, that's not it at all. I just put the banner. Okay, well, she's making banners. It's just. Yes! Yes! I want to go with Yuri! Let me go with... So sorry, Sayori. I'm going with Yuri. Yes! Saving there. Okay, but yeah, it should be fine, okay, F yes. I have to turn my night light on. Ugh. Brain hurt. No, that's not even what I meant at all. Ah, you're anxiously sorry for this. Okay, I get it. I would like this day to end because we're on day four of five. Sorry. 
Sorry, I realized you have to contact this weekend. Oh, you're right. I give us a phone number. I think that would be best. Yes. All right then. You're gonna exchange phone numbers to set, set my house. Yes, is that a problem? What's not the hard part? Okay, I know. Act two starts soon, but we're not gonna go to act two. Act well, Act two starts soon. Uh, we're probably gonna go slightly into act two, and then I'll tell you when we can cut it off. And by slightly, I mean like five minutes. Okay, that's fine. Is it done? <laughs> Yay! It's already Sunday. Say all right. Hi, Rain. I said I'm here. It's been a long time, have you? I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Why is she depressed? Friday, I said, when something really can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, say your smile, shake your head. That's no good, Rain. Eh, I can't just be like it's always been. This is all my fault. I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings. I made that stupid mistake, and you wouldn't have been able to worry about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been thinking about me right now. This is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish? What? The world decided to have to come over today. It wants just to torture me. Sayori. Grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? Yeah, what the fuck do you say? I know something happened to you. There's no explanation for you being like this. So tell me already. Until now, I know I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah. Ah ha ha. Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Rain. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> You're really just gonna make me say it, aren't you, Rain? Guess I have no choice this time. Thing is, I've already- I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. Or what reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having- them spend it on me that's what it feels like and that's why i just want to make everyone happy without anyone worrying about me i'm in shock can't even figure out how to respond how is it possible to say you already kept me for this the entire time that i've known her did she really want so badly for me to think just not think about her why sayori eh why is it you've never told me th about this it almost feels like i've been betrayed as your close friend because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do, I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you have to do is tell me. You don't understand at all, Rain. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would waste effort into caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's a bittersweet when people try to care about me. If 
feels nice sometimes. But it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. Ahaha. Ah, that's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. Ahaha. Ah, ah, you're right. I don't... Understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I do, don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for, you, for me to help you stop hurting. I'm gonna save... Over this? That's what I'll do. No, Rain. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears jerked down Sayori's face. I made you join the Dojo Club because I was selfish, and I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's what all I am. That's why I'm gonna accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grabbed Sawyer's sword. This time, I pulled into a tight embrace. Ah, Rain. Sayori. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes me worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then it's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. It wouldn't happen any other way. Rain. Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arm will remain at her side. Try to stop me next to my ear. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Rain. I. Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want for her to know I care. If you ever take on me selfish, then at least... You at least have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure. Oh, I skip that. I didn't want to read. I want. What does that say? What it takes, I'll figure out what needs to be changed. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything you need me to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Family Sarah finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Rain. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But. Your hugs are so warm, and it's really scary, too. Sarah lets me go. And sh as she does, I let her go as well. Alright, I'm saving over that again, because I don't want to go through half that dialogue. <laughs> the festival's tomorrow. Yeah, it's gonna be fun, right? Yeah, how would you like we spend it all with you? Um, uh, it's what I want. I promise. I think it would be nice then. Yeah. Sarah wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Hope they suspect when I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. And at the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. The rest of our Sari shake her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Ah. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand. But I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. Uh, yes. It's hard to be keep thinking about what it when Yuri is about to come over too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much what I could do tomorrow. Let's see how to Yuri? Ah, thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry, I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I just started getting nervous. Nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always get a text of me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. I suppose that is true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyways, let's go outside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'll take you to my room. First thing she was going to start curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. Aha, I cleaned my room before you came over. So, that's very considerate of you to do. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um. I don't understand what you mean by this be be being hard. It's just dialogue. But okay. Ah, no. It would really embarrass me for my room to be a best while you were here. 
Hmm, while I do enjoy cleaning, I would gladly have... <coughs> Sorry, that was... <clears throat> I haven't gotten there yet? Okay. I mean, ah, uh, that would be more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. Such... Sorry, I was thinking for some reason. Stop calling me a furboy, bitch. Just missing out. Yes. I did not. You fucking edited that image and we all know it. So losing motivation. Y'all, this game... If it's gonna take this long to get good, it kinda sucks as a game. No offense. Don't worry. You'll it understand. should not take five hours to get good. I'm sorry. You'll understand soon. And then you can decide whether you or not you want to play it play more of it tomorrow. I'm reading the I'm not reading the dialogue. <laughs> I'm not having it. I thought you liked Yuri. I like Yuri, but I'm kinda tired. I mean we can stop for the night right now if you want. No, if it's soon, I want to. I want to see because if I'm not gonna enjoy it tomorrow, I don't want to do 30 minutes of this and then be like, "All right, I'm done." Like you know, if I I want to see it happen. Um, it's a diffuser for essential oils. I'm not familiar. No. Like I don't mind, but it's like tedious. Oh, I have one of those in my room, but it's it's apple cinnamon flavored. Smell, scented, scented. <laughs> That's cool. I'm not skipping, I'm just reading it. So, what the fuck? Why do you have a knife? You're into knives? Okay. No, my school doesn't allow them. I would actually get arrested for having one in my dorm hall. Well, not exactly. You're allowed to have them as long as they're in a lockbox, but I do not own a knife, no. I mean, I own a butter knife, but that's for food. <laughs> Would you like to hold it? Sure. That's only for protection against the French toast people. Mm -hmm. Chomp. The fuck? Why was your tongue curly around my finger? They're gonna fuck or something. <laughs> that's just that's just what this is leading up to right now. Like, hey yo, <laughs> they're fucking licking each other's fingers, and it says wraps around her. That's like, oh my god, I can't.
Lamau, we all see it, Fleet. You can't delete your own messages here. Suffer. I'm not going to say what I think I know. You're right. Okay. Fleet, this permanently stays on my VOD channel. And knowing the Doki Doki fandom, I'm probably going to get at least 60 views. You're not safe. <laughs> yeah. You're fucked, my boob. Uh, can I just ask this now? Are they all fucking secretly depressed? Is that how this is? Yes, but to a level you're not prepared for. Motherfuck! Bro, <laughs> this just gets worse. This game sucks. <laughs> all right. Uh, it's it's not like you know. I know exactly. Okay, not no, all two. No, it's always them. It's always uh huh. And this isn't. I give up. And this isn't sus at all. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh look, a strange new background for a strange new desktop background. No. They were going to kiss! Yeah, you have been advised. Mm-hmm. You have like 10 15 minutes before act two. Great. Nice. I heard that. Good. Is 10 15 minutes like normal time or me skipping all the dot? <laughs> You, you doing it as you're doing it right now. Oh shit, okay. It's like 30 minutes of that. <gasps> yes, yes. Congrats, Fleet. You're lucky we didn't have logs back then. What the fuck? Why is there no music? I'm sorry. Of course, Sari Beans. Yeah. Yes, so see you tomorrow. Query Varus Yuri. So Sayori interrupts them almost kissing. Fuck you, Sayori. I was gonna get kissed. Did anyone come over today? Ah, well. I tried staying in my room, but my imagination is being really mean to me. I had to come here and see for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri. How close you got to her. It really makes me happy. Okay, that you've become great friends. Monica? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> should have to put up with these selfish. Monica was right. I should just. Monica was right about what? I said before it's true. 
I'm not gonna let this continue. Caring about you like this is is it the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But Sarah looks away. Put on a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Rain. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that that I might like you more than you like me. Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I was weird and start we can start to like you too much. I did this to myself. Rain, I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. Aunt, aunt, that's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. So I had to squeeze her hand of my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? So believe me. Even if it, you don't understand all your feelings, I know what you need the most right now. That's what I'm gonna give you. Oh shit! Can I see? <laughs> oh! No, 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 okay! Why is it? Oh, I really wanted to romance Yuri. Pick whichever you want. Have you been up there to the club? I know you're struggling with friend zone. Yes. What? <laughs> okay. Now, but please just say no to this and what will make you happy at the end. Promise I'll get things back to the way they were. I I see. Sarah's faint expression. Ah ha ha. That's what it feels to be good stab in the chest. I should write a poem about this. Sorry. It's okay. It's my punishment, remember? For being so selfish, so please. Please don't worry about these stupid feelings. I know you're right. I knew this whole time this one had to smell that bad. I can hear. Just get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing, you're also. Okay, I'm just gonna say for context chat, I will go back to another save file and I will see what happens when you say I love you, but that's later. If I yeah, that just... that will happen. You can do that once I say that it's Act Two. Okay, shut up. <laughs> In fact, I encourage you to do that once I say it's Act Two. Okay. I don't bet that anyone rain. I'll trust it to anything, anything at all. So, all right, let's see. She's what? Did she just say all right? Is this Act Two now? This is. The last five minutes of Act One. Save this one here. Rain, you're the first one here. Thanks for being early. It's funny if there's the year we die, but now, but just, uh. Being scary with you. Yeah, she ever slept again. That dummy. You gotta think it's important. She takes responsibility for her name. I mean, after exchange with her yesterday, I kind of rubbed her hanging this morning, you know. Exchange? Monica, you know that? that of course I do. I'm the club president after all. But. Sorry to about that. Hi, hi, hello. Welcome to stream. Tommy John, welcome in. Thanks for the first time, chat. I got a class this early. Yeah, night. you came in at the perfect time. We just told Sayori we would always be her dearest friend. Uh, that, uh, that was okay. We did Yuri route and we told Sayori we're best friends. Oh, and thank you for the follow yesterday. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, this good John, of course, and that makes you really seem like a bad guy here. I don't know what this is for me, but there's. 
case yeah I just have some stuff to do with the other one I think and hey you wanna check out the pamphlets they came out really nice sure I really did Get out of my head. Percent. There's a percent sign up here. Get out of my head. 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 A bunch of times. Get out of my head. Get out of my head before I know what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head first. Before well, the poem is I've actually just stopped smoking. What? What the fuck? Ah, uh, what's this? Reading the poem again from some rain? What's wrong? Ah, uh, nothing. The poem is not for me. I should have not got so. What? The fuck is it? Why is there new music? Um, there's more than one page of saves. There's nine. Great. Huh? I'm not skipping. I'm just not reading the dialogue out loud. Siri, wake up, dummy. There's no response. Really didn't want to have to enter a room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. Let me open the door. Keep going. What? Keep going. No! No! I'm not gonna keep going! What? You gotta trust me. An exception has occurred. File game script chapter 5. <laughs> RPY line 307. C trace back text for details. What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this could be real. Sarah wouldn't do this. Everything was so normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. As a personally urge to vomit. Just yesterday. I told Sarah I'd be there for her. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Turning her down her confession. I has to be what pushed her over the edge. Her agonized scream still echoes in my ear. Why did I do that to her when she needed me the most? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts kept telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. I, if I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and gave her what I know she wanted out of our relationship. Then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. I think I do can bring her back. This is not some game where I can re-synergize the thing. Okay, fuck off. Yeah, you just off. You can you. load now if you want. Never, never. Is it just gonna repeat never? No, it does end, but I wanna... Oh. That's it? Alright! Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Why don't you load your game? Why is- why does she look like half Monica? And y part Yuri and part... What the fuck?
Why don't you load your game, Ren? What? What? Ow! What is happening? We're gonna go like five minutes into this. I see this an annoying girl. Back too. Huh? What? What the fuck is? What? It's an ordinary school day, like any other. What? Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. What? I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content getting on by, on average, spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. Huh? The fuck you doing here, bitch? You're gonna wanna cause this shit. I fucking knew it. It's her. She's doing it. I fucking said she was weird from the start. Y'all were like, ye -ye -ye. she's not an AI. She's a fucking robot who took over the game and watched. She's not a robot. It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it has. about that actually quit the debate okay quit yeah blah 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 to be honest i can't stand all the politics around the major clubs <sighs> i don't think that you will end up being this audience a literature club why is my screen glitching it's just dumb Yeah, we already got that part. I've already seen that. Okay. Uh, I mean, I guess so, but in that case, it's actually just... Fuck is hap- Where is Sayori? Who? Bitch, don't fucking gaslight me like that! I know they fucking deleted the fight. Wait! She's not in the game. One second. One moment, though, por favor. I'm gonna check my actual game files. Wait. Go ahead. Go ahead and check your actual game files. Go look in the characters folder. Sayori is there! It's still there. What do you mean? I have Yuri, Sayori, and Natsuki, and Monica. That's... That is an error. But, like, I'm gonna take a screenshot of this and show you. That is an error. It should not be there. See? Then again, this is the copy that I did not extract because I don't want to pay for... Um, so that should not be there. But the game is still running as intended. Did I- did I get a bug? <laughs> I- I don't know what happened, because usually if that file is still there, this- the game won't start playing Act 2. Maybe it's because- so I think maybe- it, I, I think maybe you need to refresh the folder. But I- but- but 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 I but I it, maybe it's because I opened it in uh in um in um in um in um 
Safe mode? No, I opened it in... What the fuck is it called? It's not... Win Offline win. mode? Win rare. Win so, rar. Yeah, instead... I didn't extract the folder to my yeah. fucking download file. I just opened it from there. So that might be the reason. Okay. So... The game might oh! be scuffed. Uh... Did you reload the folder? No. But... It just shut down my game and said that there was an ex unexpected, couldn't find a file. It just got rid of all my files. What the fuck? <laughs> huh? Bro, if this game is some bullshit shit where it fucking just has a stroke every five fucking seconds, I, I am- I mean, it has a stroke, but not this kind of stroke. <laughs> what is that? What? It shouldn't be crashing. Yeah, this is definitely an issue. This is probably an issue with... Did you not get it through Steam? No! I got it through the website! Should I... Um, should I speed through the game on Steam? That might be best for tomorrow. Alright, here we go. I'm getting the game on Steam. <laughs> we don't need to do that. We don't need to do that right now. We can do that tomorrow. No, I'll do it right now. But yeah, for this, you can just hit the skip option. And you'll see how it goes fucking fast. Mm -hmm. See. So, um. I've not seen this happen before. <laughs> should I report it to the devs? Is there somewhere? Oh, wait, you know what? Hmm? Huh? Not... Yeah, usually. Okay, usually the game. I think usually the game crashes when the end screen happens. It didn't the crash. The game is the full crash when end screen happens. Yeah, it didn't. So that might have messed up. It's deleting the file and being weird. Uh, it's running the game. Oh! It says the previous save file has been found. But I've never played on Steam before. It's reading it off your computer. But will that still fuck it up is the question? I don't know. Let's see. Um, okay. You want to go into Steam local files and see if Sayori is there? Yeah, give me a second. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> okay, so the menu screen is Act 2. <laughs> the menu screen is on Act 2. Did I just fuck up the game more than it is? <laughs> I have done the impossible, chat. I fucked up Doki Doki Literature Club. You fucked up the game in a way it was not meant to be fucked up. Nope. She's not there. Oh, she's gone now? Yeah. Okay, then the game should run fine. Hi! The game run yeah! The game should run as intended now. <laughs> so, do I go to load... Oh, I guess new game. Congrats, you fucked up the fuck up. Hi, hi, hello, welcome to stream. Hi, um... Oh, just reached Act 2. Except the game didn't properly delete the fourth character. So... <laughs> um, was like, yeah. Oh, fuck, why is it so, still here? So, so, hi, Vox, hi, <laughs> Element. Um, let me explain what's been going on for the last... Let's see, I've been technically live for... Four hours and twenty nine minutes. My computer crashed. Oh, so you, you can, you can, if you are done for today, you can be done for today. No, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go a little further, like, and get to the part I was at. But and let me explain what happened. I've been live for like four hours, and essentially what happened was my computer crashed. My OBS itself crashed. It like completely crashed the fucking computer. I restarted my fucking computer, restarted the stream. That's why it's at two hours and forty minutes instead of four. Or almost five hours. Anyways, long story short, basically what happened is I got to the part where I guess spoilers for those who haven't played the game. I got to the part where you like say to Sayori, fuck you, and she like kills herself. Boo, whatever. Um also just so you know, that happens regardless of which one you pick. Right, yeah, okay, cool. I was assuming that because when you kept saying go back to the save file, I had sus sus suspicions. Anyways, yeah, so when you yeah, when you load that's what most people do with it, is they just try to fucking load, and, and then it's like, oh, 
The yeah. character does not exist. Um, so what happened is, I'm assuming that when I opened, when I opened the game, I downloaded it from their website. I don't use, nobody fucking pays for Windows, whatever, Windows WinRare it's called, W-I-N-R-A-R -R on your fucking computer, to extract uh, zip pack files. So I just was extracting it from there and just opening it from there instead of just putting it into my download file, except that fucked it up because you can't edit files when it's in that state, so it didn't delete the file properly and it yeah, fucked up the game. delete the character file, and we got five minutes into Act 2, and then it was like, oh fuck, what is Sayori doing here? Yeah, um, the game was not happy, so the game crashed on me, so I'm just gonna res- I restarted on Steam, and it just saved all my progress, which is really nice. I was gonna skip through yeah, Act 1 Yeah, because Steam just it. reads- Steam reads what your last interaction was and what characters you have. And that's basically all the game needs to know to, to be able to tell where you are. It's just what the last dialogue line was and how many I'm confused. And what, what characters remain. I fucked up the game in a way that shouldn't be possible, so now we're just in act two. Rain prevented the game from deleting its own files, and thus the game shit itself. Yeah, it's okay. I fucked up the game. What the fuck was that? Okay. But yeah, we've... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Seriously, you bought a boy. Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, not so key. But anyways, welcome to the club. All the words key. This club is full of incredibly key girls. Let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Not so key. Damn, Yuri's now the vice president. Uh-huh. So if I save right now, I'll be okay to stop? Yes. Okay, we're done. <laughs> we are doing this tomorrow! <laughs> I'm still going to say... I hated how long it took to get to that be that good. But... Yeah, so you are a very impatient person. <laughs> but... We've discovered this today. <laughs> Yes, I told you, I don't play games like this ever because I hate games like this because they take too long. I like skipping dialogue. <laughs> Unless it's voice. If it was voice acted, it would have been a different story. I would have enjoyed it more if there was an actual voice actor. That's because I prefer that. So, something that I think that they could potentially add. This I'm is sure my thought. No, 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 no. My potential thing that they could add in the future is that... Exactly. Uh, yes, yes, but anyways, is that they can add an option for one a gender neutral female or male and then just give them all the same oh. name that can be like fucking Morgan or something. Morgan be, can be guy, non-binary, or girl name. They're all fucking Morgan. Congrats. Or something. They can't have been out for five years. I so know. I know, but this is just my thought process of a mod that I could potentially, like, maybe in the future do. Whatever. And... There are mods for this game. I'm yes. sure there's a voice acting mod. Yes. I'm sure there's one that just changes the text to say, to be gender neutral. Yes. But I don't care about that. What I care about... I did not run an what? ad. That is Twitch. I'm sorry. You must have refreshed your page. No, it just does it anyways. It's Twitch. It's gonna do it. Um, so, my thought is, the reason why I'm saying this is, um... If they have the voice acting, I would be, and like an autoplay, I would just listen to it. Because it's like, there's not much choice in, or going on in the game, it's just more so listening. So, that I would prefer. Now, if there's a voice acting pack, and I knew about them before, I would have downloaded it, but I don't know how to mod games, so whatever. Um, but yeah, it's, I'm enjoying it now. I did not enjoy it before, but it was funny. Um, anyways, I'm done. <laughs> I'm traumatized. <laughs> What the fuck? What the fuck, bro? This- this shit. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck, bro? What the fuck? So... Um... Yay? <laughs> Yay? Fuck you all. You fucking traumatized me. Fuck 
you. Anyways. Yes. They, they can't. I'm going back to the game page so they can hear you. Because I need to find someone to read. Everything! Fuck you! Why? I thought she was just gonna, like, okay, if we... I thought we could go back and change it. And if we changed it, she would be like, fine, not fucking kill herself. What the fuck? Oh, this game is great. <laughs> we love first-timers' reactions. Shut up. Yeah, you gave hints, but you didn't say it the way Monica did. Shut the fun. fuck up. You fucking ass. <laughs> you really left them hanging. <laughs> Shut up! I, I, I've never seen day three Yuri. I've never seen day three Yuri dialogue before. I don't apparently. like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the freaking Oh, Lexi oh no, no, no! The, no. Game. Lexi. Crap. the process of leaving? Rain no! Breathing. Hi! Oh my god! Can you give them a shout out, please, mother? Hi! What's the button for shout out? Is it just SO? No, I got it. I got it. At uh, Lexi. Hi, hi. Oh my gosh, hi! Thank you so much for the you raid. Died while we're figuring out who to leave, who to leave. No, no, I'll stay for a minute. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I have been streaming for five hours almost. My stream got cut off. You came in. Brain and... just got brain fucked by Doki Doki. I'm traumatized, man. Holy shit! Thank you so much for the raid. What were you guys playing? How was your stream? Um, uh, if you're new, hi, I'm Rain. I'm not on screen right now. You can't see my avatar because I turned off VTube Studio. But uh, I'm an ancient face storyteller VTuber. And I was playing Doki Doki Literature Club for the first time. I've never played the game before. And I got to the point where, you know, everything fucks up. Uh, Amanda the Adventure. I've played that. It wasn't... It was a interesting game. Bye, Fleet. See you later. Uh, you finished. Ooh, nice. Did you get all the endings? I think I got all the endings for that game, didn't I? It's been a hot minute since I played that. It's dark. You got, you got, you got, I think, five out of the six endings because yeah. one of them is just the same thing twice. Yeah. Yeah, it is dark. All the Shiva suit. Nice, nice. Well, uh, thank you so much for that raid. Guys, go check out Lexi if you aren't already following Lexi. Did you see the secret seventh tape? There's a seventh tape? There's a secret seventh tape. It's oh. ten minutes long and it's hidden in the game files. Lamau. It's um, Wooly sitting in a chair for ten minutes. No. I'm not kidding. No fucking shot. That's, that's, He nah. sits in a chair, chair for ten minutes and occasionally is like, oh, and then You he can't see me again. because I cast invisibility. Yes, I did. I cast an invisibility. Um, well, raiders, if you need to go get some water, I am gonna raid out, so I hope you stay around for that raid so we can double raid someone. Um, please feel free to follow me if you're interested. Lexi, thank you so much for that raid. I really appreciate you. I so, I'm so sorry you came at the wrong time. I, I was ending stream. I've been live for so if long. If you'd have come 10 minutes earlier, your chat, your chat would have been traumatized. Yeah. So maybe it was a good thing you were a bit late. Oh my god. Anyways, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate you all. I'm going to find someone to raid. I don't know who the fuck to raid. Y'all, yeah, should we raid fucking ninja for shit? No, I'm kidding. Um, It'd be so funny, though. I'm not raiding ninja. Um, hang on. Hang on. I'm definitely a competent streamer. I found someone. We're raiding this person. I don't know who they are, but they're cute. And they're playing a game. So, sure. Alright. We're raiding this person. Everyone send your love. Use your raid emotes. I will see you guys tomorrow at 2 p. Are you here at 2 p.m., Mother? Willow. Mm -hmm. 2 p.m. tomorrow. 2 or 3? 2. Yes. 2. See you guys tomorrow. I should probably put my ending stream to be professional. Um, uh...
I'm so fucking dead right now. Holy shit. I'm traumatized. Goodbye.